can see this is my pie up this is a docker running and uh, uh, okay let's start now let me go to the node okay then continue okay look at the way it is now see your computer is starting up the blockchain let me go to troubleshoot okay because I container enable yes node switch turn on yes uh, post checker container absent Consensor container running yes the state is catching up protocol version latest audio connection is 8 in communication is 0 so putting other notes sorry I see I still think something's wrong here let me go back you can see your computer is syncing with the blockchain it may, it may take hours why let me go to the tech setup docker is installed you can see the pi consensus container is running so docker is installed uh, now let me open the router you can see I have issue here this is not open now for me to check this box now I need to turn off the switch let me turn it off now I go then I you can see now let me let me start now that's okay it's turning let's see what I want to download the ports see it's not downloading the ports I'm going to show you something now I don't know why it's not downloading the ports okay now let's see okay now let's see the third one let me okay I don't know why this is uh, behaving like this you see what happened now you can see Let me check again. Oh, let me check again. Okay. You can see. It's pinking, but it's talking. I don't know why this scene is like this you can see so we couldn't reach the required ports on your machine please double check your configuration so there is also now let me go to the inbound rules and make sure that uh, the pi app is going to the firewall windows defenders firewall i go to advanced settings inbound rules I'm going to include the pie so new rule okay ports next it says TCP specify the ports 31 400 to 31409 so 31 400 39 next allow the connection Yes, domain, private, public. Yes, let me name it Pi. Pi ports. Finish. So look at it here. Let's see the properties to make sure that everything is okay. Okay. Now let's look at the protocols. TCP that one for me that's okay. So I'm done with the firewall. Now let me now go to the interface of my router. This is the interface of my router. Uh, let me just close. 191.68.0254. That's, that's the default gateway that is from uh, this is my command prompt IP config. So this is my default gateway. 
Why well, this is the IP of interface? This is the interface of my router. Uh, so I come to call for port forwarding. You can see this is 31 service port 31400, 31409, internal ports 31400, 31409, TCP. This is my IP address. Uh, so in case I want to modify, you can see 31400, 31409, TCP enabled save. What again is the virtual server? This is port triggering. I didn't put anything here. This is my DMZ. I didn't put anything. UNDP. I didn't put anything. Security. Do I need to enable to disable these things? I did not. Basic. There's nothing here again. This is my DHCP settings. It is enabled. You can see. DNCP claim list. And this is just with reservations. Do I need to disable these ones? I don't know. Network. This is my 3G modem. Yes. So, so far. The most important thing is the fault for this. So everything is okay here. Now, uh, I don't know what is wrong. You can see. Let's see. Click this one again. The third one. You can see it's going. You can see nothing. I've tried all I could, but nothing came up. Don't know the issue. I'm still doing. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I to do. You can see. Let's see again. can see it's not working you can see so let me turn on the node so that's the issue I'm having but look at what I have here 